you have a problem with capitalism itself, or do you have a problem with what it brings? And I want to know why. As a person, as, as an individual, as myself, uh, my analysis suggests to me that we all have a problem with capitalism. That basically it is capitalism that is the source of our, of our problems. That is capitalism that has created the conditions that we are talking about. And that uh, the only way we're going to be able to address those conditions is to transcend this backward system. Because not only is it a, a certain way of organizing uh, economics, it has a certain kind of value system also. You know, it has an ideological component. And it's, they, it says things like, this kind of system is reflective of human nature, that we are naturally competitive, that we are naturally uh, individualistic, that we crave material things. And so they define uh, freedom as, as what we have under capitalism. But that is an, an, an ideological distortion. That is a justification uh, for this system. And those of us who believe that we should live in a different way, we have to reject that. I don't believe people are naturally competitive or individualistic. It doesn't seem to correspond with human history. I don't believe that people crave material things, even though you know, we all have been produced as mindless consumers. That's another consequence of capitalist ideology. I don't believe that what we have today in this country and other capitalist countries represents the apex of human development. In fact, it represents something quite backward. So I have an issue uh, with, with capitalism. Uh, I believe that we have to move toward a different and new kind of system. And we're seeing that people are, in fact, moving toward that different <coughs> system in various parts of the world, and even in this country. One thing we, we saw, again, with the Sanders campaign, that people are willing to talk about and examine things like socialism, what that means. And I think that's a positive uh, development. 